whether you are an artist, a graphic designer, photographer, uh, writing a book, uh, perhaps you've developed a website or recorded some great music, maybe you're a starter. You really do need to understand how to protect your intellectual property. It could be your most valuable asset and the easiest to steal. Intellectual property, uh, let me give you an example. Someone breaks into Coca-Cola's premises and steals a truck. That's easy to sort out. A truck is physical. Coca-Cola owned the truck. They taxed it. They registered it. They even insured it against theft. But now I'd like you to imagine someone starts making a brown fizzy drink. Packaged just like a Coke bottle. They call it Boca Bola. Red labels, you know, the same typescript as a bottle of Coke. They hadn't broken into Coke's premises or stolen anything tangible, but the company still has recourse in law because what was stolen was their intellectual property. You'll often see it abbreviated to IP. Your photos, your designs, your novel, your music composition, they are your intellectual property. And that's why you need to understand the basics of, of copyright protection. Let, let me make it clear, um, I do not pretend to be an attorney, uh, but I have been practicing as a freelance writer for a quarter of a century. I'm simply sharing my own understanding of the basics, and it is no substitute for consulting with a qualified attorney. What would you learn? The really basic stuff like uh, how to type a copyright symbol on your computer. You know, the little curly C in a circle. The ins and outs of registering copyright. And I'll explain the dangers of using what's sometimes called poor man's copyright. I'll reveal all the misconceptions, uh, and there are lots of them. For example, there is no equivalent of the Drugs Enforcement Agency. There are no copyright cops. There is no authority that will sort out disputes for you. But I'll also show you, even as a one-man band, how you can get someone who infringes your copyright to desist without going to law. In fact, I'll share a real-life case study where another writer copied my own website wholesale and how I stopped her in one day flat. How to find out if someone has already registered a trademark. How the music industry and book publishers are protecting themselves against internet piracy. And I'll give you lots of really useful links, plus some interesting anecdotes and history about copyright uh, to amuse you along the way.